So the last two concepts to explain in this video are the concepts of allocative efficiency and productive efficiency. I'll explain allocative efficiency in this slide, productive efficiency in the next slide. So the allocative efficiency condition is when average revenue is equal to marginal cost. Remember, average revenue is another word for price. So the allocative efficiency condition is when price is equal to marginal cost. Price takers will always achieve allocative efficiency in both the short run and the long run because they will always produce at a unit of output, at a level of output, sorry, Q star, where MR equals MC. And because for a price taker, AR is always equal to MR, therefore AR will always equal to MC at Q star, the level of output where the firm maximizes its profit. A priced maker, on the other hand, will never achieve allocative efficiency in either the short run or the long run. Um, whenever the firm has any control over price, it deliberately restricts output and raises the price. So it will never really achieve allocative efficiency. Why? Because at Q star, the level of output where the firm maximizes its profit, MR will be equal to MC. And AR will always be higher than the marginal revenue. Price will always be higher than the marginal revenue. Therefore, price or average revenue will always be higher than marginal cost at the level of output where the firm maximizes its profit. So a price taker will always achieve allocative efficiency in both the short run and the long run. A price maker will never achieve allocative efficiency because AR will always be higher than MC. What about productive efficiency? The condition for productive efficiency is AC is equal to MC. This is the level where average cost is minimized. Remember, when you draw a diagram, this is marginal cost and this is average cost. You have output on the x-axis and you have cost on the y-axis. The level of output where MC is equal to AC, that's the minimum average cost. Here we say the firm is productively efficient. So, Price takers may or may not, price takers may or may not achieve productive efficiency in the short run, but will always achieve it in the long run. Because by virtue of being a price taker, you are constantly being incentivized to lower your average cost of production. Um, so in the long run, we know what is the reason behind this? Well, because in the long run, the firm will only earn no more profits, where P is equal to AC. And since at Q star, P is equal to MR equal to MC, therefore it follows in the long run, average cost will be enough to cover marginal cost. Okay, so price takers may or may not achieve um, productive efficiency in the short run, but will always achieve it in the long run. What about price makers? Well, price makers never achieve productive efficiency in both the long run or the short run because they deliberately try to restrict output and having some control over price um, gives the firm, uh, the firm starts to focus more on maximizing profit rather than um, increasing efficiency or lowering its costs. I know this is a really long video, but I'm trying to sort of cover and review all the main tricky concepts in theory of the firm. I hope you found it useful and please leave any questions you might have in the comments section. Good luck.